Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another gym battle in the Pokemon Legendary Trials Amino League. Before we get started, as I always say, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, I appreciate your feedback so I can incorporate that into the next videos. I'm very new to this still, so please go easy and be positive in the comments, please. Um, you know, we can all use some positivity during this time. Um, but nonetheless, let's get started with our traditional team builder plus our battle right after. So today we're up against our ghost gym leader. Should be fun. Ghost is very hyper offensive in this generation with the addition of Dragapult and Corsola as in form of a wall. The Ghost Corsola, the one that's all white and bleached out, that's very tanky. So, depending on my opponent's playstyle, this could be a very tough matchup for us. Um, depending on how I play, but also how offensive my opponent is. So let's get started. Of course, we'll start off with our Cinderace here. I'll be honest here, transparent up front. Most of these builds are the same as our, the last video of this playlist group. Thing. So if you haven't watched that, go watch that. I have a more in-depth explanation there. I think. I hope. But uh, yeah, so we're running Wide Lens, Libero, Jolly Nature. Um, same concept as last time, except we're going to make use of Assurance because it's a dark type move. It's super effective against Ghosts. We're going to make use of it today with Bulk Up Flame Charge. The Wide Lens is basically for Pyro Ball so we don't miss. There's always that 1% chance you can miss. So we'll see how it goes today. We will see how it goes today. But everything is pretty much the same as last time. Gudra is the exact same thing like last time. Earthquake Flamethrower, Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt. Sap Sipper is... I chose Sap Sipper for the Delmize because um, Delmize is a very powerful ghost type. It hits very hard, especially with that Power Whip. So we want to take something... And then if it's like Bandit, let's say I can get off a good stab move or, you know, hard hitting special move or maybe a plus one earthquake off and damage something, snap some focus slashes. Uh, yeah, same exact spread, same exact move set, nothing's changed. Gastrodon, same thing. Scalder's Power Ice Beam Recover. Bold Nature, you know the drill <laughs> by now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much all the same. Savon, Rotom, exact same thing, except this time we're egg gonna make use of this dark pose this nasty plot dark pose we are gonna plan to use and make use of it because it's super effective and Rotom is quite quick and at plus two I doubt there's anything that would appreciate a plus two dark pose life or boosted from Rotom Mo. Mimic Q uh, will I guess in this one will be our little weakness here because we you know ghost is super effective on the ghost types but it's the exact same spread and moveset idea. We don't, we got rid of Drain Punch for Play Rough this time because Drain Punch ain't going to do anything. Fighting does not affect Ghost, in case you didn't know. So we got rid of Drain Punch, put back on the Play Rough. And yeah, we will see how that helps with us. I mean, I have a good feeling Mimikyu is going to do all right here in this one. Just because it's fast, we have the red card, we have priority, stab move. Another stab move, Swords Dance. You get the gist. Same idea as our other two battles. Corviknight, the same <laughs> exact idea. The only difference is we got rid of Body Press for Defog again, because fighting doesn't affect ghost types. And Defog, just in case you get the rocks up from Corsola or spikes from Frostlath. I think that's all the hazards. Is there a ghost poison? I mean, there's Gengar, but there's no toxic spikes. But yeah, just hazard removal. Um, and <clears throat> just to be a wall. Just to be another wall. Specifically for Dragapult, if it is physical. If it's special, there's always the risk you run Flamethrower. And Corviknight would not appreciate a Flamethrower. But yes, that is a quick team builder. Everything's about the same as last time. So let's head into it, shall we? Again, my opponent today is Loxy Proxy 25. All ghost. You know my team? Let's just play. So, 
I laid off with Cinder Rage, my opponent leads off with the Frostlass, and we're gonna just bulk up right away because there's no chance that my opponent will predict the bulk up and will o -Wisp. And probably will just go for spikes. Normally you see a Frostlass, it'll go for like Trick or it'll go for spikes or something. Something that's not damaging. Um, so we have plus one attack and defense. There's the spikes, as I said. We flame charge to snap any possible sashes. But there is no sash, and we get the crit kill. I don't think the crit would have mattered, but um, you know, unfortunately, there's no sash on the Frostlass. So Frostlass is down. Here comes the Golar. I hit Assurance. That does a lot of damage. Earthquake. I can eat one because of my bulk up. Golar goes down. Mimic you. What do we do? Can we flame charge here to get our speed? So now we out for sure outspeed everything, including that Dragapult. Except if it's not Scarf. Here comes that Swords then, so it's probably a Life Orb. That, nope, Leftovers. Here comes Pyroball, we will get the kill on the Mimic You. Here comes Dragapult, we outspeed you at the plus two. Assurance is gonna wipe you out. Bye bye. Um, next comes the Aegis Slash. I believe I Pyroball. And we get the 1% chance miss. <laughs> yes, that can happen. It's Wide Lens, it's 99%. It's not 100%. You can always have that 1% chance miss. And sadly, the streak ends for Cinderace here. So Cinderace goes down. We were so close to the sweep. I send out the Rotom next. Um, I He's got a King Shield, so I just nasty plot to set up. And yeah, Dark Pulse will kill because it is Life Orb boosted. Aegis Lash goes down. Marowak comes in and has no chance to take it. And we will win the game like that yep um because marowak is more defensive than special defense in general so yeah rodon finished up cleaned up literally mowed the lawn that cinderace did not finish sadly but yeah credit to my opponent my opponent in despite being at major disadvantage and being in a being swept stayed in and did not give up even though it was the odds were stacked against my opponent. So props, major props there. Thank you for staying in. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to end the video here. Please, again, like, subscribe, comment down below. And uh, you know, let me know your feedback. Let me know you like this battle. I am recording a lot of these today. So I have some in bulk and will post them very soon. Thank you for watching. I know this was quick. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed nonetheless, and we'll stay tuned for the next one. Stay safe out there, love one another, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.